Welcome back to the channel guys. Nice to see some new faces have joined us. So welcome, welcome to the channel. So what are we talking about today? So continuing my slight deviation from horror games, I'm talking about video games in general and talking about the artistic value of the medium. So you can broadly divide games into two camps. You have the kind of rigid sort of game design where it kind of forces you down a corridor like in games like Star Wing or Max Payne, for example. And then you have games like Battlefield 3, which have this kind of freeform character to them, which allow you to mess around in the game world and do all kinds of fun things. It's almost as if the game has this kind of subculture to Battlefield 3, which we're all aware of. I'm sure we've all seen hilarious Battlefield 3 videos, people being blown up and, and things like this. And I think this is really a, a triumph that Battlefield 3 allows, it, it facilitates such hilarity. So my question really is that if you have games like Battlefield, which allow you to mess around and do almost anything you want with the vehicles in the game and the C4 and these things, is this a deviation from the artist's original vision? And so my question is, has the artist failed? Has the designer failed in their mission in making their game if players are capable of almost breaking the game and doing all kinds of wacky things to the original game? So does this damage the storytelling element of a video game? Does it damage the narrative of the game? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? So you have very rigid types of games which trap you within the experience and there is no way to escape it or is it better to have games which allow you to mess around? Or is this a kind of development within modern video games? Because I'm pretty sure you weren't really able to do this to such an extent with older games. So that's my thought for this week. So is it better? Is it worse? Rigid games versus kind of freeform games. I'd love to know what you think, so please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. You can tweet me at the Horror VG. This is the Horror Video Games, and I'll see you next time.